When I meet a couple to learn who they are, there's usually a crazy story or an epic occurrence that got them together. Chelsea's, Chelsea and Nick's story isn't quite like that. Theirs is more of a classic tale of finding one another and fitting from the very start. Except there was a very big obstacle ahead, an ocean. Chelsea, when I look back at how we started, the journey we've been on, the bright future ahead of us, it makes me realize how lucky I am to have found someone as beautiful, compassionate, and loving as you. Nick, from the moment that we met, um, there was an instant spark. It was not ideal timing in our lives to meet, but I believe it was fate. <laughs> In our first few years together, we made amazing memories, although they were also the hardest being thousands of miles away from each other. Many of our guests here have attended the infamous parties Chelsea and I used to throw at our grandparents' house. Chelsea spilled an unknown substance on the carpet, and Nick, being the kind gentleman that we all know and love, went over to help her clean it up, and that is the first time that they locked eyes. But something beautiful happened that night as our couple started talking. They connected and realized in just one night that there was something very special about one another for their next encounter, encounter to be long distance. Nick was serving in Afghanistan, making it almost impossible to get in touch on a regular basis. That had to be the hardest time for the both of them. And I think everyone in here can agree that that right there is a true testament to their relationship and shows how genuine their love is for one another. From video chatting for hours a half a world away to buying our first home together, our story is anything but ordinary and I wouldn't have it any other way. You're the person I waited for and you were so worth the wait. As you know, I can be very indecisive at times, but the decision to spend the rest of my life with you was the easiest one I ever made. <laughs> so many little things had to happen to bring us together, and I'm truly convinced it was fate that brought you into my life. Even if I had all the time in the world, I can never truly express into words just how much you mean to me. So instead, I'll spend the rest of my life showing you how much I love you. I promise to always laugh at your jokes, even if I've heard them a hundred times. <laughs> um, I vow to always be by your side to celebrate your accomplishments and to comfort you when things don't go as planned. I promise to never watch a new episode of the show without you. <laughs> and I will refrain from walking in front of the TV during games or while you play Xbox. <laughs> I will strive to be the best wife that I can be. And as all of this has been said, and as all of this has been witnessed, it is my celebrated honor to officially pronounce you as husband and wife. Nick, please kiss your bride. December 23rd, 1991, was the day our lives changed for the better. From that first day to kindergarten, me crying like a baby dropping you off there. From the best Christmases ever, to becoming a teacher until today. You've always made me so proud to be your dad. And I have one quick little story. Uh, Chelsea used to perform a piano recital at our house, and one of the songs she played 
was a dream is a wish your heart makes from Cinderella, which sums up the way I feel about her. Chels, you are my wish. You are my dream come true. I love you, sweetie. I know a lot of times this speech involves people saying, I'm not losing a brother today, I'm gaining a sister. But I don't really like that. I think it's creepy. But I will say, what I'm really getting is another person that's going to look out for, care for, and love my little brother for the rest of his life. I know the future has even better memories to come, and don't think I haven't been scouting out toddler-sized shoes. To love, to laughter, to happily ever after. Cheers, you guys. Chelsea, being your little sister, I've always looked up to you, and I wanted to be just like you. I really couldn't have asked for a better role model to look up to, and still do to this day. You're not only my sister, you're my best friend. <laughs> One of my favorite memories growing up was when you used to ask me to come in and brush your hair. I know that sounds kind of weird, um, <laughs> and it was no big deal, but as I mentioned before, I was Chelsea's annoying little sister, and we weren't always so close. But whenever Chelsea would ask me to do that, it just showed me she actually did want me to be around her, and it just made me really happy. So thank you, even though I'm not quite sure that you knew how much of an impact that made just brushing your hair, but it meant the world to me. Um, thank you for being the best big sister any little sister could have. I love you so much.